brain abscess, uh, encephalitis, and meningitis. Uh, we start by uh, meningitis. Uh, meningitis is, is, an, uh, is an inflammation of the fluid and membrane meninges around, surrounding the brain and spinal cord, uh, caused by infectious or non-infectious process. The most common cause of meningeal inflammation is bacterial uh, or viral infections. Etiology of meningitis, uh, we have infective and aseptic meningitis. Infective in meningitis, uh, pyogenic meningitis, the most common cause of pyogenic meningitis in adult, 50% is a streptococcus pneumonia. Other common causative organisms in course include Neisseria meningitis and Haemophilus influenza. Viral meningitis, introvirus, disease virus, mycobacterial meningitis. We have also fungal meningitis. Aseptic meningitis includes uh, leptomeningeal carcinomatosis, rheumatoid arthritis, and uh, granulomatous disease like cyclodosis. Uh, we have another uh, classification, uh, pathological uh, types. Uh, leptomeningitis, uh, most common cause uh, of uh, meningitis. Uh, arachinoid and piamatar involved. Patch meningitis, less common. Dura and outer layer of arachinoid involved. Uh, as general, etiology of leptomeningeal enhancement, enhancement include infection, viral, bacterial, fungal, sarcoid, neoplastic, lymphoma, or carcinomatous. Uh, clinical presentation. The classic clinical trait of meningitis is fever, headache, and nacal rigidity. A decreasing level of consciousness occurs in more than 75% of patients and can vary from lethargy to coma, nausea, vomiting, and photophobia. Sign of meningeal irritations. Nachal rigidity's neck stiffness is, uh, is pseudomonic, a sign of meningeal irritation and spreading when the neck uh, resists passive flexion. Kernex sign is elicited uh, with the patient in the supine position, then uh, thigh is flexed on the abdomen with the knee flexed. Attempt to passively extend the knee, elicit pain when the meningeal irritation is present. Brzezinski sign is elicited with the patient in the supine position and is positive when a uh, passive flexion of the neck results in spontaneous flexion of the hip and knee. Uh, this is a Kernick sign, uh, patient supine positions, hip and knee flexed, attempting to uh, passive, ex passive uh, extension of the knee causes pain. Uh, Brzezinski sign, a passive flexion of the neck causes spontaneous uh, flexions of the hip and uh, knee. MR, uh, MRI and CT finding uh, overall cross-sectional imaging is not sensitive or specific for diagnosing meningitis. Neuroimaging can, can, can identify conditions that may predispose to bacterial meningitis. Thus, it is indicated in patients who have evidence of head trauma, sinus mastoid infection, skull, uh, fracture, a congenital anomaly. In addition, in neuroimaging studies are uh, typically used to identify and monitor complications of meningitis, such as hydrocephalus, subdural effusions, empyema, infarctions, uh, uh, or, or exclude uh, or to exclude uh, developments of brain uh, abscess and ventriculitis. So neuroimaging is to uh, identify predisposing factors and complication. When meningitis is suspected clinically, it is usually obtained before lumbar puncture to exclude a mass lesion or other sign of elevated intracranial pressure. non CT is often normal in early case of uncomplicated meningitis. Findings include uh, effacement of the sulci and slight hyperattenuation on non contrast CT. Later, the meninges may show contrast enhancement, suggesting inflammations. However, men however meningeal enhancement alone is not specific for meningitis. In the case of a meningitis, a CT bone window demonstrates complete opacification of the right middle ear cleft and poorly pneumatized right mastoid consistent with the chronic right otomastoiditis as a uh, predisposing factor. Uh, another case, 35-year-old 35 35 man presented with the headache and meningeal sign, a non-contrast uh, CT, uh, non-contrast CT just shows effacement of the sulci. Uh, post contrast uh, CT scan shows uh, leptomeningeal enhancement. One of the complications of the meningitis is the development of subdural uh, empyema. As we see in this case, there is bilateral frontal subdural effusions. Uh, the fluid is, uh, uh, is not uh, attenuated as a CSF in the ventricle. Uh, 
Another complications development of the uh, hydrocephalus at, uh, in case this case, there is a mild dilatation of the ventricle and effacement of the sulci. MRI, T1 may be normal, sulci may appear le less hypodense than normal. Uh, T1 contrast, uh, there will be uh, left meningeal enhancement. Flare demonstrate hyper intense signal in CSS space, especially in the sulci. Uh, flare contrast has shown to be more sensitive than sp and specific than T1 contrast sequences in sporting left meningeal enhancement. MR angiography, arterial, arterial narrowing or occlusions due to the uh, arthritis uh, or uh, vasospasm. T1 contrast in case of meningitis shows leptomeningeal enhancement. Another case, patch meningitis, the case of many patch meningitis, there is dural enhancement and small amount of uh, left subdural uh, collection. Uh, another case of meningitis, flare sequences, this uh, th three flare sequences, shows uh, uh, hyper intense signals of the sulci, sub arachnoid spaces. And there is a rounded hyperintense signals within the salamine. Uh, Dewey and IDC map shows the restricted diffusions. Uh, it is hyperintense in the uh, Dewey and uh, IDC map uh, block, uh, uh, consistent with the sub acute infarctions, secondary to the arthritis or vasospasm as a complications of the uh, meningitis. Another case of the meningitis, uh, CT and T1 shows the, this uh, effacement of the sulci in the left side. Uh, flare shows hyper uh, intense signals within the subarachnoid spaces. Uh, diffusion weighted images uh, shows the uh, small amounts of uh, left uh, subdural fusion. Tuberculosis meningitis. Non contrast scan may be normal. Later complications may be visible, include hydrocephalus, infarction due to arthritis, special in children. Following contrast administration, number of in the additional features may be visible. Basal uh, enhancing exudate, leptomeningeal enhancement along the Sylvian fissure tentorium, and commonly convexities. Ependymitis may be present. CT contrast of a patient of tuberculosis meningitis shows the a thick enhancement of the basal cistern in a spider leg appearance. Also, there is hydrocephalus. Another case of tuberculosis meningitis, T1 uh, contrast axial sections shows the uh, uh, basal cistern enhancement of the basal cistern and uh, developments of the hydrocephalus. Another case of the uh, TB meningitis. There is by a flare uh, sequence shows a bilateral hyperintense signals of the basal ganglia, which is a restricted on uh, IDC map consistent with the uh, ischemia and infarction secondary to arthritis. Uh, T1 contrast shows the uh, both axial and uh, coronal shows diffuse leptomeningeal enhancement. Leptomeningeal uh, metastasis MRI, T1 usually normal. T1 contrast uh, is a primary mode of diagnosis, leptomeningeal enhancement, often scattering of the brain in a sugar-coated manner, to usual normal flare, abnormally elevated signal within the sulci, uh, can be performed in both uh, non-contrast, post-contrast, but uh, slightly less sense, uh, specific if performed post-contrast. A case of uh, uh, meningeal uh, carcinomatosis, uh, leptomeningeal enhancement of uh, scattered is a sugar coating matter. As we see, the uh, leptomeningeal enhancement uh, mimic a sugar coated manner. Uh, there is a marked diffuse leptomeningeal enhancement, most pronounced over the cerebellum and basal cistern. Uh, the patient was diagnosed with a cryptococcal uh, meningitis. Uh, the T2 normal. So uh, we should not uh, depend on T2. This is a, T1 contrast, T2 uh, completely normal. After excluding the uh, resident intracranial pressure and uh, space occupation lesion and risk of herniations, diagnosis of meningitis and encephalitis done by doing lumbar punctures, CSF analysis, and uh, PC PCR. Encephalitis. Encephalitis and inflammation of the brain tissue, the most common cause is viral infections. And in rare cases, it can be caused by bacteria or even fungi, many of which have similar presentation and imaging feature. Specific diagnosis over required PCR. Uh, 
herpes simply device virus most commonly diagnosed cause. There are two main types of encephalitis. Primary encephalitis, this condition occur when a virus, uh, when a virus or other agent directly infect the brain, the infection may be uh, concentrated in one area or widespread, maybe in the one area or widespread. Secondary encephalitis, this condition result from a faulty, faulty immune system reaction to uh, infection elsewhere in the body. Instead of attacking only the cells causing the infections, as the immune system also mistakenly attack a, a healthy cell in the brain, also known as post-infection encephalitis. Secondary encephalitis often occur two to three weeks after the in initial uh, infection. Symptoms include uh, flu-like symptoms such as headache, fever, ache in muscle jo uh, and joints, fatigue, weakness, so more severe sy symptoms like confusion, agitation, hallucination, seizure, loss of uh, sensation, paralysis, muscle weakness, problem with speech, hearing, loss of consciousness. In infants, there may be bulging of the fontanelle, nausea, vomiting, body stiffness, poor feeding, irritability. Viruses that can cause encephalitis, herpes simply virus, virus type 1 and type 2. Type, uh, type 1 associated with a cold sore uh, and fever, blister around the mouth. Type 2 uh, causes genital uh, herpes. Encephalitis caused by type 1 is rare but can result in significant brain damage or death. Other viruses include uh, herpes virus uh, like Epstein Barr virus, which commonly causes infectious mononucleosis, and varicella zoster virus, which commonly causes uh, chickenpox and shingle. Enterovirus, this virus includes polio uh, virus and Kosaki virus, which usually causes an illness with flu like symptoms, eye inflammations, and abdominal pain. Other viruses include mosquito baron virus, tick borne virus, rabies virus, childhood, vi childhood uh, infection. Childhood for infection like uh, measles, mumps, uh, German measles, causes usually secondary encephalitis, but nowadays it is rare because of vaccination. We, are, uh, we come to uh, herpes simulus type 1. Pathologically, uh, herpes simulus type 1 results in the necrotizing infection involving the inferior medial aspect of the temporal lobe the inferior frontal cortex, the cingulate uh, cortex, subfrontal and insular regions, further progression of the, of the disease may result in the petechial hemorrhage and eventual, ca eventual cavitations. CT scan of patient of the type 1 uh, herpes simplex, early CT, or first and uh, second day, uh, show nothing normal. 14 days later shows non-specific hypo-intense a hypo, uh, hypodense area in the uh, ra, uh, left uh, temporal lobe. A flare shows typical hyperintense signal, hyperintense signal in the right tem med medial temporal lobe. Another case of the uh, type 1 uh, herpes simplex, uh, T1 uh, sequences, non contrast, shows the uh, curvilinear hyperintense signal in the uh, right uh, temporal lobe consistent with the petechial hemorrhage as a complication of the encephalitis. Uh, diffusion weighted images demonstrate the region of the patchy restrict diffusions and may be more sensitive uh, than T2 weighted or flare imaging in depicting region of uh, encephalitis. Another case, a diffusion whited image, classic herpes encephalitis, not abnormal, hyperintense signal abnormal in bilateral mesial uh, temporal cortex. Uh, the area may show contrast animus enhancement. T1 when contrast shows uh, right uh, temporal lobe enhancement. Type 2 herpes simplex may result in the severe neonatal encephalitis. encephalitis with a transmission most commonly occurring through the infected birth canal. Pathologic examination demonstrates diffuse parenchymal and leptomeningeal inflammation, which can progress to hemorrhage and necrosis. MR demonstrating loss of gray water and white matter differentiations and higher T2 signal in the periventricular and subcortical white matter with a relative sparing of the central gray matter, basal ganglia thalami, and posterior fossa. With disease progression, decreased due to signal intensity within the cortex may develop corresponding to the presence of hemorrhage, necrosis, parenchymal calcification. Severe cerebral sequelae such as cystic encephalomalacia or hydranencephaly may eventually be seen with, with more advanced disease. 
a case of uh, type 2 uh, herpes simplex, there is a, a T2 shows the hyper intense signal, the right uh, temporal lobe, and loss of uh, great white matter differentiation. Uh, T1 contrast uh, coronal shows the leptomeningeal enhancement, uh, case of uh, meningoencephalitis, both meninges and uh, brain tissue involved. Another case of uh, herpes simplex type 2, axial uh, diffusion weighted image uh, demonstrated a strict diffusion in the left caudate nucleus head and right lentiform nucleus in addition to the left occipital temporal parietal uh, and the right parietal uh, region. Uh, uh, three years later, CT scan done shows a uh, demonstrated cystic encephaloma in Malaysia in the uh, left occipital parietal regions. There's also hypotenuations in the left caudate nucleus and uh, lentiform uh, nucleus indicate uh, uh, necrosis. Varicella zoster virus may be in the form of meningoencephalitis uh, with MRI demonstrating diffuse multifocal area of high altitude signal intensity within the cerebral cortex. Diffuse encephalitis result in a specific region of high altitude signal within the white matter. Varicella zoster virus involvement of the large vessel at the base of the brain may result in the variety of uh, pathologic findings ranging from the necrotizing arthritis to a remote vascular occlusion within the small blood vessel of the brain resembling atherosclerotic disease. A case of varicella zoster viruses flare sequence shows the hyper abnormal hyper intense signal with the head of the caudate nucleus and the posterior limb of the internal capsule medial uh, frontal lobe. Uh, MRI shows the narrowings of the uh, left uh, middle cerebral and uh, right uh, anterior cerebral arteries. Uh, Epstein-Barr virus encephalitis. Uh, this can perform it uh, one day before the patient died. Diffusion weighted images uh, shows abnormal uh, hyper intense signals distributed throughout, throughout the cerebellum, brain stem, basal ganglia, hippocampi, scattered throughout the subcortical white matter, uh, cerebral cortex. Uh, T1 uh, uh, sagittal sections shows diffuse brain edema, loss of the uh, cisterian uh, sulci, and there, there is also herniations of the brain stem and the uh, cerebellar tonsil. Cytomegalovirus virus encephalitis is a CNS, uh, CNS infection that almost always develop in a context of profound immunosuppression. Cytomegalovirus virus infection uh, is uh, also one of the most frequent congenital CNS infection. Periventricular epidermal uh, enhancement is characteristic. Uh, a case of cytomegalovirus virus encephalitis. T1 shows uh, just dilatations of the ventricle, mild dilatation of the ventricle. Uh, T2 and flare shows uh, dilatation, mild dilatation of the ventricle, a uh, nodular hyperintense signal in the basal ganglia and subcortical white matter in the frontal regions. T1 contra shows subtle enhancement in the periventricular regions. Uh, uh, D shows the uh, curvilinear hyperintense signal in the walls of the lateral ventricle and IDC mouse shows a restricted diffusion. Uh, congenital pseudomegalovirus virus infections, uh, corona, T2, uh, corona T2 white images demonstrate thickly distorted cortex in the right frontal and temporal uh, lobes, compatible with the patchy gyria, abnormal uh, developmental delay, and uh, the, uh, the child all already uh, will deliver with the uh, congenital, uh, congenital CNS anomaly like that, that and uh, developmental delay. Chronic cytomegalovirus infection, uh, there is a marked hydrocephalus and uh, periventricular calcification. CT scan axial section. Enterovirus encephalitis, characteristic MRI findings are hyperintensity in the posterior portions of the medulla and pons. Severe cases demonstrate involvement of the ventral horn uh, of the spinal cord, basal ganglia, and thalami. The MRI finding most characteristic of polymyelitis is hyperintensity involving the region of the anterior horn cell on T2 weighted image. A case of enterovirus encephalitis, uh, there is bilateral symmetrical involvement of the pons, hyperintensity on the T2 uh, weighted image. <laughs> 
rabies virus, infection of the rabies virus, which is usually transmitted by bite from an infected animal, causes a, a rapid uh, progression to encephalitis. One symptom begins, a rabies is a rare cause of encephalitis. MRI feature of rabies encephalitis is an ill-defined mild area of T2 hyperintensity in the brainstem, hippocampi, thalami, hypothalami, deep and subcortical white matter, and deep and cortical gray matter. So, so it's widespread uh, in a specific way, hyperintense signal. Brain abscess. Uh, cerebral abscess result from pathogen growing within the brain parenchyma. Initial uh, parenchyma infection is uh, known as uh, cerebritis which uh, may progress uh, into cerebral abscess. Cerebrite is an area of poorly defined acute inflammation in the brain with increased permeability of the local blood vessel, but without new vascularity or angiogenesis. Ap uh, apiogenic abscess is a focal area of parenchyma infection that contains a central collection of pus surrounded by vascularity, vascularized collagenous capsule. It is divided into four stages. Early cerebritis, one to four, uh, two, three days. A focal infection without a capsule or pus formation can resolve or develop into a frank abscess. Late cerebritis, four to nine days. Uh, development of necrotic uh, central focus. Early capsule formation may occur uh, for then 10 days after the infection. A late encapsulation occurs 14 days after infection. There is a well formed capsule. Clinical presentation is non-specific uh, with many cases having no convincing inflammatory or septic symptom. Symptom of raised intracranial pressure, seizure, focal neurological deficit are the most common form of presentation. Abscess may be may rupture into the ventricular system which uh, result in the sudden and dramatic worsening of the clinical presentation and often heralds a poor outcome. Etiology, a direct spread from the contiguous cranial side of infection, such as paranasal sinusitis, or that's media mastoiditis, or dental infection, following head trauma or neurologic neurosurgical procedure, or as a result of hematogenous spread from a remote side of infection. CT, in patient with the uh, suspected uh, intraparenchyma sepsis, pre and post contrast uh, scan should be obtained unless the plan is to proceed to uh, MRI, regardless of the CD finding. Typical CD appearance uh, outer hypodense and inner hyperdense rim, double ring sign uh, in most cases. Uh, ring typically uniform, smooth and uniform thickness. Central low attenuation fluid pus surrounding uh, lower density vasogenic edema. Ventriculitis may be present, seen as enhancement of the ependyma. Obstructive hydrocephalus would commonly occur, uh, be seen when uh, intraventricular spread has occurred. MRI is more sensitive than CT, although peripherally enhanced lesion may be non specific by imaging diffusion, weighted sequences showing a central diffusion restriction are critical for suggesting the diagnosis of the cerebral abscess. Uh, T1 shows the central hypo uh, intense uh, uh, signal with the ring enhancement. T2 uh, shows the uh, central uh, hyper intense and the capsules uh, hypo intense signal uh, diffusion and ADC map uh, shows the restricted diffusions, MRI perfusion, so reduces the relative cerebral blood volume. A case of early cerebritis, uh, axial CT shows non-specific hypo uh, hypodense area in the uh, left uh, frontal uh, regions. T2 shows hyperintense signal in the uh, left frontal regions. Uh, T1 contrast shows uh, hypointense signal in the right frontal region, but with our ring enhancement uh, consistent with the early cerebritis. 14 days later, the scan uh, repeated and uh, T1 contrast shows a uh, ring enhancement with a uh, hypointense signal content. This contrast enhances CT scan demonstrate irregular enhancement peripherally and lower density centrally. There is around the lower density vasogenic edema. This is a typical of the late cerebral stage of pyogenic infection. Another case of pyogenic infections, flare shows the uh, uh, lesions around uh, around lesions uh, that the content does not suppress at the CSF in the ventricle and there is a market surrounding vasogenic edema. T2 shows the hyperintense signal content with the hypointense 
signal capsule and vasogenic edema. Uh, diffusion weighted images and uh, IDCMA shows a restricted diffusions. Uh, MRI perfusions uh, shows marked reductions in the relative cerebral blood volume. Uh, T1 contrast shows a ring enhancement. Briefly, see, uh, briefly uh, uh, cerebral abscess, uh, we can uh, brief, uh, uh, say that uh, the appearance of the CT scan uh, appeared as the ring enhancement and hypodense content. Uh, vasogenic edema, which may subside uh, at the uh, abscesses uh, progress toward the lead encapsulation. T2, there is hypo hyper intense signal content and capsule hypo intense. Uh, diffusion weighted and the uh, IDC map shows restricted diffusions. So the, we can say that's 100% uh, abscess. Uh, ring enhancing cerebral lesions include a differential diagnosis of ring enhancing cerebral lesion, cerebral abscess, tuberculoma, neurocystisocos, metastatic glioblastoma, subacute, infar uh, subacute infarct, hemorrhage, contusion, demyelinations, radiation, necrosis, postoperative chain, lymphoma, leukemia, thrombosis, aneurysm, necrotagen, leukoencephalopathy. Uh, neuroimaging of, uh, of differential diagnosis of ring enhancement, most common uh, ring enhancement, uh, uh, like primary tumor, but that uh, the wall is uh, thicker and nodular. And uh, usually the necrotic center that does not uh, show uh, restricted diffusion on uh, DE and uh, IDC map. A result in clot, there is uh, usually history of the trauma and vascular lesion blood pro uh, product present. Demyelination shows incomplete uh, ring. Uh, secondary also the wall is sick and uh, nodular. Treatment, there is uh, treatment usually combined antibiotic as soon as possible and can be changed according to the result of the culture and sensitivity. Prophylactic anticonvulsant, steroid can be given to, to decrease vasogenic edema. Uh, aspiration drainage, craniotomy, uh, and complete excision can be done when the stereotactic uh, aspiration failed. Follow up imaging successful therapy should show a decrease in the ring enhancement, edema, mass effect. Uh, change the site usually takes about four weeks. Preference and thanks. <laughs>